Welcome back everyone. 713 on the clock. Our first day of fall celebration continues this morning. The official first day is technically tomorrow, but it's Friday day and we want to have a little fun. So fall is a great time to get outside and enjoy the changing colors. You of course might want to capture some of those sites. So Donald Sewell is here with us. You have been taking pictures around the Inland Northwest for decades now, right? Yes. So uh, to start off, tell us what you got here. These are um, available out in about 65 uh, local and regional outlets, retail. These are my ninth annual editions of uh, wall calendars. Mm -hmm. The Spokane edition is the kind of my niche product. It's been the popular one. And then I also have a Northwest one. Okay. Um, they're just, these are very popular items and we make them available every year. And so for people who are at home and wondering, you know, you take some pretty awesome photos around the Northwest. If they want to get into photography, how, how did you get started and how does someone get started? My father just simply bought me a used camera at a pawn shop. Yeah. And he, because I was in art in school, and mm -hmm. so he just saw that artistic side and bought the camera, and I started picking up and self-taught my, you know, I'm all self-taught and just using settings and experimenting, right? basically. And, I mean, between then and now, I mean, just even within the last decade, a lot has changed in camera technology. Do you like moving along with the times with brand new technology, or do you think the older cameras are, are just as useful? Um, I shot film for 20 years and then uh, reluctantly moved into the digital age. My wife helped nod me into that. And uh, I, I like the digital aspect because it's, it's portable. Right. You can share it like what we're doing here right, uh, exactly. you know, in a timely fashion. And, and quality wise, I'm just as pleased with it as I was with film. Okay. I know there's some of us are purists and that's not always the case, but you know, right. it's. And we're taking a look at some of your portraits here. Could you tell us a little bit maybe about these ones that we're looking at right now? Sure. Um, the ones on the table there, one was from the Lantern Festival from two years ago, the Chinese, the Washington State Chinese oh, right. Lantern Festival. Um, we have, uh, that's just a, uh, an example of one I use slow shutter speed to create that effect with the leaves, fall leaves going in the water. Oh, okay. Um, they just got into a back eddy and spun around and so I just, it was just something mesmerizing about it. So I decided to mm -hmm. capture, the artistic side is, is there. Right. So do you have any maybe tips and tricks for people to know if they're going out to take those photos? Sure, I would um, tell people probably the, the biggest thing is if you have zoom capability to use that zoom and get more of an infinite, I mean a, a finite uh, approach, you know, mm -hmm. uh, intimate is the word I'm looking for, right. where you are closer into the subject uh, versus broad, you know, you don't, you know, you always see people, there's a deer and it's, a mile in the distance, you want to be more impactful and be close as you can. Right. Uh, and, as, and just as possible. feel like getting out and exploring, right? Yeah, exploring and area. I tell people the biggest thing is they you need to look down, you need to look up. There's mm -hmm. stuff going on in the forest and on the forest floor or any place you're at. It's There's a lot happening other than what you just see at eye level. Right. And then if people want to contact you or get more of your uh, photos, your prints, what can they do? How can they contact you? Uh, they can get a hold of me on my, uh, my cell phone. I have email. Uh, I have a website, SewellScenics.com. Uh, that will direct you to my Facebook pages, my Pinterest page. Um, so the, the contact information on the website is, is there, but I have a very big Facebook presence. Perfect. So. And I just love your jacket. Yes. Here. All I care about is <laughs> photography and like maybe three people and beer. Yeah. I think that Evan's, is Evan's, like, Evan's one of them. Oh, exactly. Evan's See, one there of the we three. Go. And yeah. the beer. I mean, hey, <laughs> <laughs> always a good addition. Yep. All right. 717 on the clock. Donald, thank you so much okay. for being with I us today. It. it was great to have thank you in you. studio. We'll be right back with more Crime 2 Morning News on the CW22. Stay with us.